Hi again, so we have reached the exercise on unit matrix, so we need to write a program that constructs and displays a unitary square matrix M of dimension N. Uh, unit matrix is a matrix in such that, so uij is equal to 1 if i is equal to j, and it's equal to 0 otherwise. So, for example, if I have this, so a unit matrix is like that. So this is a 4 by 4 matrix, so it's a square matrix. So we need to do that. So if I give the user gives 4, I need to create that. If the user gives uh, 2, for example, I would just need to uh, create that. So for that, uh, we will use a matrix. So again, the maximum dimension would be equal to size. So int m uh, size size. And we'll need here also one dimension since it's square. So int n. And we will need, of course, two counters, i and j, because we need two counters to look over the matrix. So we need to read the uh, dimension. So print f, enter. It's a double quotation. It's not one quotation, one single quotation. So enter the dimension. So the user will enter a dimension, address of n. And this n should be equal should be not less or equal to zero, or n is greater than its size. So we have read the dimension, and then we need to construct the uh, uh, matrix. So we need to do uh, two loops, obviously, since we need to create the rows and the columns. So. And let's go back here and see what we'll do. So the main diagonal, we already, so if you followed me in the previous exercise, so this one is where i is equal to j, and this one is where i is equal to j, and this one is where, is where i is equal to j, and uh, this one also. So I should place uh, uh, one where, where whenever I have i is equal to j, and zero otherwise. So as easy as that. So if is i is equal equal to j, I would place an m of i of j, I would place 1, otherwise, else, I would place 0. And at the end, so I have created the, the matrix, so we need to display it. So again, we need two for loops. So print f, percentage of 4d comma m i j and print f backslash n after each line and this is it so in the standard input so we have just one scan f so i have placed a four so let's execute so let me place uh, for example here uh, printing the uh, print f printing the unit matrix and yes so we have uh, this unit matrix let's say I would place 6 here so I will have a 6 by 6 unit matrix so and um, uh, uh, you can you can uh, use that however uh, in uh, on the website you can find so instead of all these you can directly so place so i'm using a conditional expression so m i j so it will be equal so we can write that if m if i it is equal equal to j i would place one otherwise i would place a zero so this is one option so let me write so here we have option one here we have option 2 so I will command these and uh, try the option 1 just to be convinced so we'll end up with the same I have also an option 3 for you so I would place an M I J whether so look well here is I is equal equal to J so we know that the, the double equal, it means a test. So if i is equal equal to j, it will return true. So it will return 1. And if i is different than j, it, it will return false or 0. So this is what we want. So if i is equal to j, I will return 1. So let's again uh, execute this code. So again, it will work. So we have three options here. You can pick 
the one that most that suits you and uh, the most obvious for you so maybe you will pick just option two because it's the most easiest maybe option one if, uh, if you, you know how to deal with uh, conditional expression and for more advanced you can pick the option three so this is it for this exercise if you have any questions do not hesitate to drop me a message and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notification and again thanks for watching